Hi, I'm Nan Rothwell and I'm a potter. I've been a potter for 50 years and um, I welcome you to my studio. I started making pots in England, um, went to art school there and then moved back to the United States and set up a studio in Crozet. And then after a few years there, moved to Nelson County, Virginia, where my husband and I built a house, we had a family, we were there for 38 years. Relatively recently, we've moved here to this house in Charlottesville. So this is our 27th year, at least I think it is, of the studio tour. It's entirely run by us, self-employed craftspeople. Every year, the studio tour has expanded and grown, and um, I'm really proud to be a part of it. This is an experiment for all concerned. Um, none of us have ever done this before, but we, I hope you can take a look around in my online store, and um, if you see something you like, it should be easy to order it. I know it's hard to buy a piece of pottery when you can't hold it in your hand, but I hope you'll take a look at the pots in my store. I've done my best to take them from several angles and give you their size and shape. The reality for me is that I miss meeting my customers. I miss handing someone a piece of pottery. But the online store has been good in many ways because it has expanded the range of who could see my work. This is a, uh, a Bailey kiln, a comb 10 kiln. I fire it in reduction, which means I change the atmosphere in the kiln to draw the oxygen out of the metallic oxides in the clay and glazes. You change the carburation. Um, it's tiny compared to the kilns I've used in the past, and so I find what I'm doing now is making a bunch of pots and then firing several times in a row because I haven't yet adjusted to making a few and firing them and making a few and firing them. You make the pots, you let them dry, you bisque fire them, which is a low firing where they're still somewhat absorbent. You dip or pour or spray glaze on them, and then you um, high fire them in this kiln. These are pyrometric cones that melt at very specific temperatures and tell you how hot it is in the kiln. Um, let me show you. Um, so you set them right here during the firing, and then during the firing, you can pull a brick out like this and look in and see how much they've melted. And when they're all done, they, they start out looking like that. And when they're fully fired, they end up looking like this. So the ones in the front have turned into a puddle, and the ones in the back are just telling you exactly what temperature it is in the kiln. So these are some examples of the pots in my online store. Um, they are, in fact, um, just a, a small set of them. There are other things that I didn't grab out just now to, to show you, but this color range is actually my personal favorite. This is called Carbon Trap Chino, and I just love the variation that you get in this glaze. Sometimes it goes almost black, like this. Sometimes it stays orange, like that. And I like them both. <laughs> I, like, I like all of the above. This is a new glaze for me that I got from my friend Roger Rood. And I'm just learning how to use it. It's, I, I love the soft quality of it. It's called Korean White. And I'm learning to spray different things on top of it. Um, if, when you get lucky, you get a lovely pattern that looks almost like a, a robin's egg. Um, I'm very happy with what's happening with that glaze. And then these glazes are the ones that I've been using for a while and I still like. Um, and what I tend to do with them is to uh, vary them by spraying. I don't, I don't like pots to look the same all the way around. So I tend to spray different colors on different sides just to give them a little variety. I make a lot of lamps probably my favorite thing to make um, right now, followed closely by pictures. I really like making pictures. Um, I also make and sell a lot of bowls and mugs and um, teapots, just pots made to be used. My, my way into making pottery is that I want you to take it home and eat out of it and drink out of it and Sit underneath, sit underneath this light and plant things in it and just engage with it and use it. That's why I'm making pots to make beautiful things for people to use. 